Baroness Christine Blower, uh, former NUT General Secretary, thanks for joining us today. Well, I'm very pleased to be here with you. Thank, Thank you. you. So on 16th of July, the big day is coming. Um, Freedom for Rogaland campaign is um, making a huge, big event on um, 16th of July online. So what are the details about the event? Well, let me just say, uh, just in case there are, there's anybody out there who doesn't know this, the uh, Freedom for Rogaland campaign is a trade union based campaign uh, supported, promoted by the TUC, supported by the TUC and arose as a result of a TUC a resolution. And many of us in the trade union movement who had been working for the freedom for Uchulan and for justice for the Kurds for a long time got behind <coughs> this campaign. And so on July the 16th, we're holding a big online rally. I know people have been to a lot of online rallies, but I'm just gonna say to you that this is a really big and significant online rally uh, for the freedom for Uchulan. Uchulan is of course the acknowledged leader of the Kurdish people and he has now been in prison for 21 years and so under the hashtags freedom for Uchulan, hashtag time has come, uh, hashtag 21 years, we really want at 7 p.m London time people to join the uh, the rally online so that we can hear from a number of voices about why this is an important time, the absolute lack of justice of having held Abdullah Uchalan in prison for so long, uh, and the parallels, of course, with uh, with Nelson Mandela, who was also uh, a fighter for freedom and social justice, and who was also held in prison completely unreasonably. So we're making that parallel just so that people can make a connection with that campaign, but also uh, so that we can hear from the voices of the Kurdish community and lots of people who support uh, the Freedom for Uchalan campaign. Also, can we get the details of the um, uh, the event as well? Um, when, where, how people can join, which website they should register? Um, these details we will listen from you. Okay. Well, anyone who anyone who wants to join, they can register by going to the Freedom for Ochalan campaign uh, website and registering. Uh, there are lots and lots of people already registering and we have a whole number of speakers. Uh, myself and Simon Dubbins from Unite as the co-chairs of the campaign will be uh, chairing this event uh, and so far we have a number of uh, a number of confirmed speakers including Lloyd Russell Moyle from uh, the Labour Party who has of course been to the region and will talk about his own experience of being there and Manuel Cortez, who is the General Secretary of the TSSA uh, Transport Union, uh, who has also been on a delegation to the region and who will be able to talk about his own experience. And critically, we will have voices from uh, the Kurdish community talking about their community in London, but also their solidarity links uh, with the campaign. So go to the uh, Freedom for Ochalan website uh, campaign website and there you will find all the details for signing up it's at seven o'clock on july the 16th thank you um also mr rajalan is under isolation last 21 years now and how important is um freedom for rajalan and the campaign as well very briefly if you would like to answer this. well uh, you know the fact is that the the, the uh the lack of justice for for the Kurdish people, for the Kurdish community, has gone on even longer than the lack of justice for Abdul Urchalan. And we know that there have been various phases uh, in the campaign for justice for the Kurds. But actually, if we are to find a peaceful solution, a peaceful and just solution to the Kurdish question, that can only happen if Abdul Urchalan is free and able to engage in how the negotiations on this solution will be found. And so for those of us who believe that no one is free until everyone is free, it's absolutely critical that we engage in this campaign. Baroness Christian Blower uh, and the former NUT General Secretary, thanks for joining us, thanks for your comments and thanks for giving all the details about 16th of July today. Thank you very much and I hope to see very many of you on the call on July the 16th. Thank you, thanks.
Matt Nathan, uh, one of the Freedom for Agile and Campaign organizers. Thank, thank you very much for joining us today. Thank you for having me. Thank you. So on the 16th of July, uh, the big day is coming. So what is your message? What is your call uh, to the communities about that? And uh, what would you like to say about that event? Thank you. So, of course, well, um, as you know, uh, we are a, a trade union campaign. We are rooted in the UK trade union movement. And normally this time of year, uh, we would be at trade, trade union events up and down the country talking to rank and file members about who is Abdullah Rajalan, why is he so significant uh, and, and his centrality and importance in the Kurdish people's struggle. Um, Unfortunately, because of COVID, we're, we're not able to, to do that this year uh, because of the restrictions on large meetings and all the rest of it. So we've been really trying to figure out how do we, looking at the great success of our involvement with things like the Durham Miners Gala, which gave us the uh, the honour, the distinct, distinguished honour of being the international theme in 2018, Toll Puddle Martyrs Festival. Uh, where we had a major presence supported by our amazing, wonderful friends and comrades in the Kurdish community. So what we've been trying to do is, is figure out a way to, to replicate those and other things. Of course, I should also mention the, the TUC action we had at the, at the Congress last year where delegates representing six, sorry, 600 delegates representing 6 million UK workers all held aloft this placard with Ujjalan space demanding freedom for Ujjalan. So we're trying to kind of take that energy and put it all online. Um, so the event on the 16th is about bringing together the trade union movement, uh, our allies from outside of the trade union movement, and we'll have messages of, of solidarity from across the world, of course, including UK trade unionists, but many others, politicians, uh, uh, Kurdish activists and politicians, of course, um, and it's really a way for us to restate the aims of our campaign. Um, just because we can't see each other physically doesn't mean we've gone away. Our activism is just as vital, just as important, especially given what's going on with Turkey's current belligerence, uh, which has now gone beyond northern Syria and is now making inroads into in, into northern Iraq. Um, the time has come. Um, Ujjalan's release could not be more important. How important is the Mr. Abdullah Ujjalan's freedom? Also, he's been under isolation last 21 years now. And uh, also, uh, Turkish aggression is uh, growing against Kurds. So, in this really, uh, very important period of time, um, could you please express your uh, feelings and thoughts about the freedom for Ujjalan? Um, our feelings, the feelings of the campaign um, are, are the same as they've always been. Um, Ojalan is such a central figure, such a, a fulcrum around which the politics of the region rotate. If we want a peaceful settlement, not just for the Kurds, but for everybody in the region and for, of course, the Turkish people as well, that has to begin with the release of Abdullah Ojalan as part of a planned peace process. We know that that can work because we know that the Turkish state was negotiating with Ujjalan up until 2015. We want to go back to that time. Could you please add your call for the um, 16th of July event? Um, could you please tell us how we're going to register there for the promotion of the event? Absolutely. How we will Absolutely. register? What is the website? Um, could you please give us that, that detail? Of course. That details? So look, I've already mentioned Toll Puddle Festival last year. That was an incredible event, and only a, only a few hundred uh, only a few hundred of our community were able to be involved with that. Now, the advantage of this being an online event is absolutely anyone can can come and join us. And I really would urge you to to, to register. You can register for the event by following our Twitter account at Ujalan Free, or one word. We regularly post links. If you want to go straight to the registration page, we've set up a, it's called a tiny URL, and that's tinyurl.com forward slash freedom for Ujalan. The time has come, all one word. Um, or you can go to our website, www.freedomforurjalan.org, and you will find the details there. It's, it's the blog post that's, that's in there. You could sign up for our newsletter on the website and you'll get communications about it. 
If you follow us on any of those ways, you will find out. If you don't want to register for the event, you'll be able to watch us live on YouTube as well. And we're putting information about that out next week. Thank you very much for all your details. And thanks for you um, joining us, um, supporting our channel today, dear Matt Nathan, one of the organizers of Freedom for Island campaign. Thank you. My pleasure. Thank you very much. Thank you. Dear Simon Davins, United Union International Secretary, thanks for joining us today. Thanks very much for having me. It's as always Ed came a pleasure to be there. Thank you. Um so the big day on the 16th of July, um Freedom for Agile campaign having an online event. Um the day is coming. So um what would you like to say? What is your message? Uh, what is your call to people to join the online event? Um we will listen to the details from you. Okay, um, thanks, Ekem. Yeah, we've, we've been building and organising the um, Freedom for Urgeland online rally for the 16th of July. I've been organising it for a number of um, weeks now. Um, we founded the Trade Union Freedom for Abdullah Urgeland campaign in 2016, and it has grown significantly since then. Most major unions are affiliated. At this time of year, uh, the British trade union movement would normally have some big festivals, Olpadul and the Durham Miners. In the past, um, our campaign has been one of the major features of those. And we were hoping to do that this year, but because of coronavirus and all the difficulties it's been um, hard to do that so this online event we're trying to rally all of our forces and make a real big public uh, display of all of the people that are calling for the freedom for Abdullah Erjulam we know all of us that he's been held for 20 plus years in prison now in isolation and um, it's high time that he was released to play his part in a proper peace process. So we want to gather everyone. We're encouraging everyone to sign up online and join us in that call on the 16th of July. Um, also, um, as you know, Mr. Rojalan is under isolation, as you said, last 21 years now. Um, what are you aiming by um, this event? Well, we're, we're really aiming to, as you know, in the COVID situation, it's been very difficult for a lot of people to meet, to come together, to um, really put their views across. So what we want to do is bring everyone together, make it clear that although COVID has changed things and made everything more complicated, we are very much still here. We are very much in solidarity with the Kurdish population, uh, all political prisoners, and uh, especially Abdullah Erdogan. Um, we know we're in a very dangerous moment again. Turkish aggression is visible everywhere, uh, from Iraq to Syria to Libya. And we remain as absolutely convinced as ever that the key to securing peace in Turkey and in the wider region is the release of Abdullah Erdogan so that he can actually play his full role in bringing about a new future. Um, also, could we could you please give us the details how um, people are going to join the event, which email address they should register, uh, when is it? So um, could you please tell us the details as well? Yeah, it's. I, I think many people have got used to um, Zoom now. Zoom's the platform that we'll be using. There is a, an email address to register at freedomforurgeland.org. Uh, um, simply click on the registration form. It will generate an automatic email link back to you. And at uh, 7 o'clock in the evening, UK time, um, simply go on the link and that will take you to the uh, online rally. United Union um, International Secretary uh, Simon Davins, thank you very much for um, your comments today and thanks for your message about the 16th of July, the big day. Thank you. Thank you very much as always. Eric, it was great to talk to you. Thank you.
Thank you.